Oh. Good morning, Axial Scale Builders around the world. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and you are now watching Scale Wars Axial's official Battle of the Builders. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you're having a good start to your day. Good start to your weekend. Um, I'm having a good start to mine. I'm a little sleepy today, so <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and pre-warn everybody. Just bear with me. I am running off very, very little sleep at the moment. So we're going to we're gonna make it through this. We're going to make it through this. It might be a short episode. might be a little bit of yawning going on. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But I'm, I'm running on empty. So <laughs> anyways... Uh, we've got some cool entries for you guys today. Um, if you guys are interested in getting your build submitted, you want to see them here on Scale Wars, you want to participate in the series, really just take the spotlight, show off your work, show off your build, show off your creativity, your imagination. Um, you can do that by going to the official Extreme Scale Performance website. Link in the description below. www.extremescaleperformance.com slide on over to that scale wars tab everything you need to know is right there the sign up sheet the rules and the regulations the scoreboard it's all right there so you can get your build here on scale wars be able to show it off just keep in mind this is an axial series um every once in a while we'll get somebody that doesn't quite understand that and i i recommend you go back to the very very first episode and start watching from there and it'll all start to make sense. That being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and swivel this little chair around and I'll see you guys on the battleground. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody, welcome back to the battleground. It's about to go down. Today's episode's looking pretty good. We actually have, uh, it's, it's another Wraith battle, another buggy battle, um, but today we're doing 2.2s, basically. So AR-60s, 2.2s, um, and Wraith cages, for the most part, is what we're looking at. And uh, we're going to start off a little mild and get into the wild, I guess you can say. I don't know, though. They're all pretty wild, to be honest with you. Um... The photos on this first entry are a little rough, but that's okay. We're going to get through it anyways. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will get the gist of it. So that being said, if you feel like entering, you feel like submitting your build, you want to get in the spotlight a little bit, head over to the website. Link in the description below, www.extremescaleperformance.com. Slide on over to the Scale Wars tab. Everything you need to know is right there to get your build submitted and on to Scale Wars. So that being said, let's keep it moving. First entry today comes from a gentleman named Dan Harris. Dan is out of Washington Terrace, Utah, here in the United States. He is 32 years of age. It looks like he's been subscribed to ESP for three plus years, he says. And uh, he started building RCs back in 2010. The project we're looking at right here he calls Wraith Rebirth. Wraith Rebirth. Ah, <laughs> uh, you like how Rebirth with an F? <laughs> that it's actually Rebirth. I just can't talk. Um, it's an axial Wraith, obviously. Now the detail part and paint list goes like this: Savic Servo, Tekken FXR ESC, Tekken 55 Turn Motor, Castle Creations BEC, RC Four Wheel Drive Light Controller and LEDs, RC Four Wheel Drive Worn 9.5 CTI Winch with the wired winch controller, the Scale King Exclusive RC Gauge Pod and nav screen with LED backing, SCRC links, C-hubs, knuckles, diff cover, diff retainers, low C shocks, vanquish pan hard bar, servo horn and chassis mounted servo kit, energy 2.2 wheels, proline racing, 2.2 TSL, XL swamper tires, that's the big boys there, it's scalar fab rock sliders, front and rear bumpers, trail armor package basically, uh, yeah racing shackles, yeah racing fire extinguisher, classic TVToys.com figures, 
extra speed coke bottles, dinky RC hood, Carter Fab side panels, RC four wheel drive inner fenders, hot racing transmission gears, modified 32 pitch associated spur and pinion, and M by Pete drive shafts. Also says he has a custom uh, some custom fab parts on here. Uh, fast back mod, axial plastic links for the back roll cage frame pieces, battery and electronics plate under the hood, firewall, back bed, extended steering column. <coughs> Excuse me, this allergies are kicking in. Huh? Um, description, he says, uh, I call this Wraith Rebirth since this is an original RTR and has been through several incarnations. It has been from stock to extended out and now back to a more scale version. Um, the build classification is a uh, trail truck slash crawler U4 balancer category. Um, scale of 1 to 10, he rates it a 7. And uh, let's see, as far as who we'd like to give a shout out to, he says his cousin Corey for getting him into the hobby and selling me this rig. My wife for putting up with this hobby. My friends in OTR RC. ESP for inspiring this reboot or rebirth of this wraith. My local hobby shops, Adrenaline RC and Focus RC in Ogden, Utah, and the RC community as a whole. So awesome shout outs there. Thank you very much for including me, Dan. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, you guys already know how this goes. If you're new here, I'm going to go ahead and explain it real quick. Basically, this is an online ongoing competition for axial scale builds. Um, it doesn't have to be SCX 10s. It can be anything from SCX 10 to a Wraith to uh, XR 10 to an XO, you know, a SMT 10 monster trucks. Anything axial that you have uh, built something really cool out of, this is the platform for it. This is the show. So basically, what you can do is you can submit Submit your build at extremescaleperformance.com. Get it on here, and uh, what happens is not only do I rate it basically on a scale of one to ten. I've got I've got ten categories I go through, and I rate on a scale of one to ten, and then you get a final score posted up here on the website, and uh, everybody can see that at the end. And um, basically, everyone gets involved. We all jump into the comments here and basically give feedback. <clears throat> tips and tricks, uh, any ideas you may have for improvement. The whole goal is to help level up. Um, there's always room for improvement. It doesn't matter if you're the best of the best. There's still something that can be improved. And sometimes it takes the eye of, you know, a stranger, the eye of uh, someone that's not inside your bubble to go ahead and really just tell you what's missing, tell you what they think is missing. And maybe it's something you disagree with or maybe it'll spark an idea and uh, you know you can take that build to a whole nother level but the whole goal is community involvement and uh, leveling up each builder so uh, that being said let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into this build me personally first thing um, that comes to mind I mean my very first impression I gotta say is it's pretty slick looking. It's a little bit uh, modernized with the hood how it is. There's no real detail on the hood. It just kind of looks real slick. Um, I like the figures. Uh, the chick is definitely, you know, in, in an interesting position. Just laxing there. Got her feet up on the dash. I guess that's fairly normal. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, what else really stands out? That front axle is definitely poking out at me. I, I can see a lot of metal going on down there. Um, real clean in the back. Uh, I like that. Nice and clean. Nothing too crazy going on. Uh, I think it's a nice, simple build. The seat belts are a real nice touch. Um, I like it. You guys, what do you think? Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, anything really standing out to you that it's just screaming needs improvement? Or is this thing just looking good as it is? Um, in the rear, that axle is definitely sticking out there. Interesting look. I'm not sure if I like it. Or I, I don't. I, I, for me, I'm not 100% sure. I think it looks pretty good, though. Um, it fits the look of the rig. I mean, with the panels being silver like they are, I think it's a good look for the most part. Um, rear bumper's not too crazy either. It actually looks like it's part of the axle right there. It's a really weird look. <laughs> but I think that's just a, uh, a, that's just the angle that we're looking at it. Um, not too bad, man. I'm guessing your battery's going in the back there. I could be wrong. Looks nice underneath. Got a lot of good parts under there. Uh, very clean. I like the sliders. Like the inner fenders. Um, looks good. I would like to see those wires that you've got going to the back lights. I'd like to see those inside of a uh, 
you know, wire loom or something like that. And also the servo wire up front, maybe get that inside of some wire loom or inside of, uh, you know, some heat shrink, something like that, just to black it up, and then it wouldn't show. Also, the uh, white panels in the back there, um, the bottom side, it just spray those black, it will definitely make a big, big, big difference, and it's a super quick, easy mod. Um, those axles are actually looking pretty nice, with the combination of the axles, the links, and the uh, MIP drive shafts, really looking good there, honestly. There's a chick running around like she, she don't have a care in the world. Um, I, I'm really interested in your figures though, where you're getting those, because it looks like they have bendable legs and arms and everything, so that could actually be really cool. What did he say again? ClassicTVToys.com, so for those of you that are interested, <clears throat> there we are looking down on the bottom, we're looking down from the top into it. Uh, they got some scale stuff going on in there. Nothing too crazy though, but at the same time, this is a buggy. You're not going to have a bunch of sleeping bags and, you know, all kinds of stuff packed in here. You're not going to have canoes and, you know, shovels and all this stuff. You know, you might have, um, you know, a cooler. You're definitely going to have a fire extinguisher. Uh, a couple of, you know, Cokes in there. That makes sense. You know, a couple of drinks. Um, that's, that's really about it. I mean, you're not going to see a lot more than that. Maybe you'd see a cooler in there, but you know, even not having a cooler is fine. Um, toe strap, a little recovery gear. That's normal. Uh, spare tire could always be normal, but not really necessary always in a buggy like this. And that's cool. So you can't even tell from this, but that's cool. I like that. That's the exclusive RC, uh, parts there lighting up in the dash. Definitely looks good. Um, I like the wheels too. You got the hubs on there looking good. Very nice, my man. Very nice. You guys, what do you think of this? Um, in the front there, it's a little awkward looking. I don't know what I think about it. It's almost like a, it reminds me of like a grill without the grill. I don't know. I'd almost like to see something done there. I don't know what, but I would almost like maybe just some stickers on the front there. I don't know. Something to break up the blandness. It's very bland in the front. Uh, and, you know, I'm just talking about in this area, it's just pretty bland. I'd like to see this all, I don't know, something done here to kind of break that up. Whether it be stickers up here and right here, or I don't know, something. There's my man right there, Dan. Uh, appreciate you, brother. Actually, what hat is that? Is that 1320 video hat? Oh, my man. Little known fact, 1320 Video subscribe to this channel. Don't know if they're watching this, but if they are, shout out to 1320 Video. I can't really tell if that's one of their hats or not, but it really looks like it is. But either way, damn, thank you very much for submitting your build, man. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you just participating, you know, getting involved here. Um, I appreciate your subscription, you know, hanging out for as long as you have. It's always nice to have folks like yourself around here. Thank you for the shout out. Um, big shout out back to everybody that's helped get you involved. Uh, you know, it's always nice, man. The whole goal is to grow this family, make it as big as we can, and then level everybody up, you know, so we can just have a cool impact on the world. And I think we're doing a decent job because of folks like yourself. So thank you very much. You guys jump in the comments, tell Dan what you think of his build. Um, did you like it? Do you hate it? You know, all that good stuff. But here's the rule in case uh, you guys are new here. I forgot to touch on this earlier. We have one rule and that is just to be respectful, be polite. Don't, don't fire off with some stuff where I'm going to have to boot you out of the comment section because I'll do that. I don't like doing that stuff. But every once in a while somebody says something rude and I'm not cool with that. There's ways to get your point across without insulting people or offending people. So uh, use your use your heads, use your intelligence. And, um, you know, if you don't like somebody's build in this episode or in any episode for that matter, uh, find a nice way to let them know how you think it could be improved. That being said, we're going to go on to our next our next contestant, our next entry, our next builder. I don't know. I always, I always struggle to come up with a term for that. I, I'm going to say builder. We're on to our next builder. Let's do this. All right, you guys, we've got our second entry of the day, and uh, this one's looking pretty good, too. I'm loving the fact that it's in this cool-looking scale garage. Very cool. Um, this one's submitted to us by a gentleman named Gary Moore. Now, Gary is out of... Uh, 
Ro- Rochester, 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 Pennsylvania, here in the United States. He is 65 years of age. Looks like he's been subscribed to ESP for approximately two years now. And uh, he says he started building RCs in 2015. So not that long ago. He's still fairly new to the scene. And uh, in that amount of time, it looks like he has definitely picked picked up on it, man. Because <laughs> this is one good-looking picture I'm seeing. It's a sick rig and a sick-looking shop. So... I think he's I think he's found his niche. <laughs> now, uh, the project we're looking at right here, he calls this one the Blue Blood Axial Wraith. Now, detail part and paint list goes like this. Mostly stock Axial Wraith kit parts. Um, he says, uh, hot racing four links, front and rear, self-bent vanquished drive shafts and wheels. Oh, I wonder if he means self-bent drive shafts or if he means self-bent. I don't think you don't bend it. He must be talking about he bent the links. I don't know. We'll see, I'm sure, in the pictures. Um, Vanquish drive shafts and wheels. RC four-wheel drive super swampers. Added Yeti light buckets. Uh, Savix waterproof servo. Castle Mamba Max Pro ESC waterproofed. Uh, Tactic six-channel waterproof receiver and controller. Because that's what I had is what he put on there. And he says self-cut Lexan panels and aluminum diamond plate. Officer organizer tray wire mesh RC four wheel drive 65 turn motor tracks is slash rear shocks uh, the paint is Duratrax metallic blue with silver streak to me a flame or to me a lame flame and he says one layer too many and he says I started out with RTRs until my skills thought I was ready to try this build now the build classification is a uh, basically a trail truck he's I don't know what is he having on here I need to get that fixed because the build classification could be a little bit better done here um, as far as on my end I it's I've made it fairly big but it's basically uh, you know the crawler u4 bouncer category now on a scale of 1 to 10 he rates this a rates it a 4 fairly low now as far as who we'd like to give a shout out to he says uh Every one of my 39 subscribers, Axial for such a versatile platform, Hobby Express for being open seven days a week, and ESP for all your efforts to help the hobby grow. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. And you know what? I really wish you would have included your uh, your YouTube channel name here. So if you get a chance, maybe, maybe put it in the comments. And... Um, we can get you some more subscribers, man. Uh, you know, it's 39 is a good start. That's I actually remember when I was at 39. I remember I had less than 39. And uh, <clears throat> at that point, I can promise you, every one counts. And uh, it means the world. Every time you get that little notification email saying somebody subscribed, um, it, it's a good feeling. So, you know, if you guys get a chance, if if Gary gets a chance put you know to put it in the description here I'll approve it so it doesn't go to spam and um, yeah you guys give him a give him a subscribe head on over to his channel check him out um, that being said let's go ahead and uh, let's dive into this build now this is a point in the episode where if you guys uh, haven't been doing it already get your little fingers out there man them phones out or then keyboards or whatever you're watching on and uh, jump in the comment section give some feedback because that's really what this is all about is the community involvement you guys jump in the the comment section you give feedback and the builders read it you know and it means a lot to them it, despite what you guys might think it really does mean a lot to have somebody give some some feedback on your vehicle uh, whether it's it's something you want to hear or not it's just nice to see that people are paying attention and uh, I don't know it's it's a power you guys have that you know sometimes I think you might forget you have so <laughs> just want to remind you um, that being said my first impression is this thing looks aggressive it reminds me of a rock bouncer something I'd watch on my uh, friend Cole's channel Mad Ram 11 and it just I don't know that's what it looks like to me it looks like a rock bouncer I really like it the wheels are just beautiful looking I love them um, just the whole things looking really really beast I like it all the custom work you did with the panels the wire mesh the uh, diamond plate it's really cool it, it's just a good touch man you definitely you definitely built something unique here from a wraith which is uh, it's kind of hard to do you know I mean wraiths are They've been around for a while, and we've seen a lot of different, you know, 
iterations of them and this one uh this i haven't seen nothing quite like this one so let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and take a look here there we go um even got the number on there i like it good job man these wheels uh just insane wheels There's a shot out in the sunshine. Looking good. I see he definitely put some effort into that paint. I think it turned out pretty good. You know, it's not the worst. I know you said it put a little too much on there, but that's all right. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, you know, the average eye doesn't pick up on things like that. So, um, it looks pretty good. Seeing this battery cable sticking out is bugging me. Um, I would definitely like to see that hidden a little bit better. Um, yeah, those wheels look real good. I like those. Getting some scale hardware on the wheels would definitely help out too, but, you know, it's not mandatory. That squish, that tire squish. I like it. There's a shot from the top. It's looking pretty good, man. Stripes looking good. Yeah, it's looking really nice. The wheelbase is looking good. Everything's looking really good. Your entry angle is looking really solid, too. I mean, you, your tires almost go right out to the edge of the bumper. Front shot. Ooh, the axle's looking really nice. Uh, I don't know about the green paint on it. Not a huge fan of that. To me, that's... I don't know. Yeah, it just seems a little odd. Um, also, the servo stands out a lot. Uh, that's a problem that a lot of these servo companies have. Is they make these bright colored servos, especially like blue ones for waterproof. <clears throat> because for some reason, <laughs> I think they think that we need to you know, see water colored servos to know that they're waterproof. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But... Um, I wish that was all blacked out. That would look a lot better. Uh, at least in my opinion. You guys jump in the comments. You let me know. What do you think would look better there? Um, tires look aggressive. Look mean for sure. Underneath it's looking pretty good. Uh, you could definitely use some wire loom. I would get some wire loom to go over those wires there. Um, also get some wire loom to go over all these wires right here. That would be something I'd definitely be interested in, in seeing done on there. Um, I don't know, just wire loom or or some heat shrink or something. Because if you, I mean, if you look at this, it's all silver and black. Everything's silver and black with a little bit of color splashed in. And if those wires were not so visible and that servo wasn't so visible, this would look really, really good. Um, I like it. I like it. It looks really nice underneath. Uh, some skids would look a little bit better than just having the open rails like that. But either way, I'm nitpicking. Yeah, it looks really good. There's a nice shot from the back there. Oh, loving that scale garage, man. You guys, let me know in the comments if you want to do a scale garage series here on the channel. I I've been thinking about starting up a scale garage series where you guys can submit your scale garages and uh, we can do scale garage wars. Hey, just let me know. Let me know. Definitely let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. But um, this looks good. I like this a lot, man. This thing's really cool. Something that's really standing out to me. I don't know if it's standing out to you guys, but he's got some really tall shocks going all the way up to the top of the cab. And I honestly, I kind of like it. Normally, I'd be like, uh. Oh no, I think it looks good. Normally, I, I don't think I would like that, but I think it looks good. I think it looks cool. It's unique. I like what you did. Uh, you got nothing left back here. You just took it all off and put some shocks through there. And the shocks themselves are actually going to kind of reinforce that. Make sure it's nice and stiff. So, it's yeah, I like it, man. I really do. The back looks good. Not seeing any skill disc brakes, but it's looking good. There's the hubs. I mean the uh, interior. <laughs> ah, 
See, I'm having a moment, man. I'm still really tired right now. Like I said, I'm running off of some, like, very, very minimalistic amounts of sleep. <laughs> very small amounts of sleep. This is actually really nice, the way you got this diamond plate done. Um, I thought it would look a little rough. It actually, that looks really clean, man. That's, that's a nice touch. Uh, definitely something I think that we could learn from, even if it wasn't just diamond plate. Just lining the interior with something and adding some texture like this is a really good idea. Uh, your paint job is looking good here too. I, I like it, man. I like the color choice for the seats. I think you did a good job, man. There we can see a little bit more hood scoop on there. Not so sure if I like the hood scoop. I mean, it's good. Oh. I mean, it's definitely quality hood scoop. It's not like you did a bad job. Um, I just don't know if I like it with in you know in regards to the buggy having a hood scoop. I think that it would probably I don't know, especially with the stripes. I think it would just look better without that. But that's just my opinion. You know, you guys may feel differently. Action shot. You gotta get them action Jacksons, and it's looking good. Pulling the wheels. Looks like it's about to do a little bounce in there. Another nice shot there, flexed out. The hub looking good. I'm really obsessed with those wheels and those skill hubs. I'd like to see some disc brakes for sure, but I really like that. Some inner fenders would be nice, kind of like the last one had. That way you can't see all this madness that's going on in there. There's a lot of wires showing and stuff. Um, really just takes your attention away from all this cool stuff here that's going on and puts it on that back there which is a little frustrating there he is there's my man Gary and uh, the build's looking good man it's looking really good and I appreciate you Gary thank you very much for uh, submitting your build sir and, and just participating in general I do appreciate that and um, honestly I really like it and I would like to hear what everybody thinks of this uh, this gentleman has not even been in the hobby that long, and he he built this. So I, I think he's doing a good job. He's off to a great start. Really, really liking this thing. Um, just, you know, get the wires hidden a little bit and uh, a couple little things here and there, and I think, you're, uh, I think you're in it, man. So that being said, you guys jump in the comments. Let them know what you think. Uh, feedback is always appreciated. I personally am really liking this one. Um... Again, it could just be the wheels that are just pulling me into it so much because I really like these wheels. But at the same time, I also like the uniqueness of it. Uh, There's a lot going on. You know, definitely not a fan of that hood scoop, but I like everything else. So, um, awesome. I appreciate it, Gary. You guys already know what it is. On to our third and final entry of the day. Let's do it. All right, you guys, we've got our third and final entry of the day. Uh, this one's looking pretty interesting, man. This is pretty wild. So uh, this one's submitted to us by a gentleman named Stephen Ping Pangayo or Pangalo. Uh, it's two L's, and I'm a, I don't know. I would think it's Pangayo, but I could be wrong. I, if you watch this, Steve, correct me, please, in the uh, comments, sir. Now, this uh, this gentleman is out of. Well, it doesn't actually say where he's from. He's got an APO, AP address, and uh, for those of you that don't know, it's uh, basically like a military address, And um, but he's out of the United States, so I, I don't know. He's on the Pacific side of the United States, so um, he is 55 years of age. We'll just, you know, we're going to say he's from, uh, we're going to say he's from Oregon just because, you know, I'm in Oregon, so... <laughs> but he's 55 years of age. It looks like he's been subscribed to ESP for about six months now. Um, let's see. He started building RCs in 2017. So he's brand new to this game here. And uh, that's pretty good for being brand new, man. This thing's looking pretty good. Definitely can't tell you just started. Um, now, the project we're looking at here, he calls it Blackjack Axial Wraith. And uh, the detail part and paint list is pretty extensive. So uh, bear with me as we get through this. Um, he says, uh, building a wraith the hard way, uh, yeah, just another wraith, but I hope it looks clean enough to show, um, wraiths weren't readily available when I started looking to get one, everyone was back ordered, so I pieced one together by ordering parts as they came available. 
Not a cheap way to do it if you're also considering upgrades as well. Took about nine months to get all the parts, stock, or third party. And I had to use various sources, most from various sellers on Amazon and Amain. Uh, looking for an uncommon color, watched Mad Ram 11 and came up with the yellow black concept, which I dub Blackjack. And I figure uh, only veterans of the first cavalry would see the resemblance. So, uh, is that military, that military, uh, uh, you know, connection there. I had a feeling there was something going on. There had to be a reason. So, um, now let's see. He says, uh. I figure only veterans of the first cavalry would see the resemblance. Uh, I tried to hide the majority of the wiring. Still not sure what to do with the motor sensor wire. Um, the parts go like this. He says the driver is Undertaker. I had to trim his rear and backs of his thighs to sit in the seat right. He says the body um, is actually a Wraith tube frame. Five cans of sun yellow Krylon. Most of it goes to waste so you don't get runs. Uh, hot racing skid. Wordy made Wraith battery tray with electronics mount. Scalar Fab Wraith rock sliders with skid plates. Extra speed Wraith interior. Uh, axial interior details or detail part street. Um, Dinky Wraith drop box. Uh, he's got RC4 wheel drive Wraith inner fender front and rear. Axial LED light bucket set. Axial Corbo LG1 seat set. Exclusive RC4 point harness race set. Um, Axial simple LED light controller with LED lights. Yeah, racing 110 skill. Uh, crawler steel diamond plate. He's got RC four wheel drive V8 engine cover with metal intake for um, the R3 transmission. He's got Helion Avenge 10 MT running board and header header set. Uh, just the headers. He says new design axial Wraith aluminum body panel kit. I really didn't like the roof and had one of these flags um, he says the suspension is g-made 110 millimeter rsd piggyback shocks incision wraith uh quarter stainless steel link set just the bottom links he says or just the bottom links and the pan hard bar uh gpm wraith upper links st racing concepts aluminum hd steering link uh link set vanquish cms and pan hard now the powertrain goes like this. Let me actually uh, get a better look here. Powertrain is um, powertrain to the rubber meets the ground is what he said. And he says Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster BLE Pro ESC uh, I iconic Xenon four channel two point four gigahertz all weather receiver Spectrum RC voltage protector uh, Holmes Hobbies Polar Pro uh, five forty. Uh, sensored crawler motor in 2700 kV. He's got Robinson Racing Super Hard Absolute 48 pitch uh, steel pinion gear 16 tooth. Uh, he's got Energy Billet machined aluminum or alloy center main gearbox with metal gears 80 tooth spur. Hot Racing transmission spur gear cover. Hot Racing 142 millimeter drive shafts. Incision spool locker. Uh, front and rear Vanquish Curry axles and VVD shafts with axial overdrive front and underdrive rear um, Vanquish products Wraith scale C hub set he's got Vanquish products Wraith steering knuckle set uh, ceramic bearings used throughout Traxxas 12 millimeter hex Fortec 2.0 wheel hubs with disc brake rotors until the MST large rotor kit is available again he says the He's also got a Gearhead RC 2.2 slot mag aluminum beadlock wheels and uh, SSD scale locking hubs. Crawler Innovations Double Deuce 5.5 2.2 uh, crawler foam. He's got Axial BF Goodrich Crawler TA 2.2 rock crawler tires. Um, the steering is a Savix 1210 SG servo, core RC aluminum servo arm in black. RC screws, uh, axial wraith, rock racer, stainless steel screw kit, mostly on the suspension and drivetrain. And then the accessories, he says uh, he's got Yeah Racing Fire Extinguisher, Proline Scale Recovery Toe Strap with Duffel Bag, uh, Scale by Chris Ice Chest for, rece uh, for a receiver box, Scale by Chris 123 Jugs and Tote, uh, Night Customs Front Runner Wolf Pack, uh, 
Wolfpack, what does it say? High lid storage box. Was trying to see if I could fit in ESS in it. Nope. Uh, energy aluminum model jack. Uh, he's got axe and shovel from Red Cat Gen 7 Pro. And he says, think that about covers it. Though I'm waiting on the SS Vanquish diff skids. Got a couple vids of it running and some of the building on my channel. Um, and he left a link to his channel. And if I can remember, I'll try to put that in the description as well. Uh, he didn't leave a name for the channel though. And then only giving it a 6 on the scale just because I am in awe of the other builds and the very little fabrication on my part. Uh, build classification is um, obviously Crawler U4 Bouncer category. Uh, on a scale of 10, he's rating it a 6. Now, as far as who we'd like to give a shout out to, um, he says, uh, I don't think he put any, anybody on here. Did he? He says, yeah, he says that you'd like to give a shout out to the community and all those that have channels and share their fun. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, uh, all that being said, that was quite a mouthful there, man. There's a lot to go over. Um, you guys have definitely had some time to sit here and stare this thing down. What do you think? What is your first impression? The first words that come to mind? Uh, did you see anything you really liked? See anything you did not like? Let me know in the comments below. Me personally, my first impression is, wow, man, it's got a lot going on here. Um, very unique, definitely unique. Uh, some really cool parts on here. Uh, also some stuff that I feel is a little overdone personally, but um, that's just me. And it's a matter of opinion, but I, this thing's pretty wicked, man. Definitely wicked. Love the uh, wheel combination, the wheel and tire combination. I love the yellow hubs. I like that you did that. Love the yellow cage. Um, you took time to actually paint the cage, which is really cool. All the panels look great. Um, all the venting in them and stuff is really cool as well. Uh, the drivers look good sitting in there. Um, I like it, man. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and keep looking through here. Uh, Corbeau's looking good. Five point harnesses looking really good. Shout out to exclusive on those. Um, another shot looking really nice. Got that cooler in there. Got some recovery gear. Got a fire extinguisher. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, this thing's looking good, man. Solid. In the back there, you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, I would almost rather see a uh, fuel cell back there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. You guys tell me. It, it's cool. I like that it has the drop down piece, but for some reason, I really wish this had a fuel cell in it. I think that a fuel cell would just be popping back there right now. Um, the V8 popping through the hood it looks kind of cool. Honestly, I don't know though. I'd almost rather not see that popping up like that. Maybe underneath the hood would look a little bit better. Um, but that's just me personally. Um, you got the right amount of detail in there though. The scale accessories are looking proper. Um, yeah, I like it a lot, you guys. I definitely like it a lot. Uh, I don't know about the exhaust there, but yeah, it's not too bad. The exhaust isn't too bad. Curry's looking really good under there. The, uh, disc brakes back there like there should be. This thing's looking pretty solid. I'm sure it's a tough rig. That's, that's definitely something I'm sure of. Um... I like it. I like it. Links are all looking good. Drive shafts looking good. All that yellow and black underneath there looking so nice. Ooh, I like what you did there with the, uh, the diamond plate. I like it. Looking good. Shot of it from the passenger side there. Shovel up on top. I don't know about that. Um, me personally, I wouldn't put the those two accessories up on the top there. I feel like they're just begging to be ripped off like that. I'd probably mount those inside somewhere. Um, it's looking good. Say so you didn't know what to do with uh, this cable right here, this sensor cable. Honestly, it's just all black. It looks fine. I wouldn't do anything. Um, I think it looks really good. I think you did a great job. This thing's looking good, man. Love those BFGs. 
I'd love to see this thing doing work. It just looks so vicious. Axial light buckets up front are looking awesome, especially with the yellow. Ooh, this thing is mean, man. So mean. There it is, just dropping the hammer, flinging some rocks. Clearly, it's working good. Oh, and there's my man right there. Everybody, uh, this is Steven. Steven is quite the builder, I gotta say, because he's, you know, I'm trying to look here. Yeah, since 2017, he just got in this. I mean, we'll say like a year tops at this point that he's been building. And that is pretty impressive, man. Super impressive. So, um, Steven, I, I just got to say thank you very much for submitting your build. It's very unique, uh, very cool looking. I like all the panels. I love the yellow and the black uh, kind of paint theme you got going on there. Um, it's just a, it's a really cool build altogether. So, uh, that being said, you guys already know what to do. Jump in the comments. Give this man some feedback. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I appreciate everybody that submitted their builds and participated today. If you'd like to submit your build, you already know what to do. Head over to the website. Link in the description below. Uh, www.extremescaleperformance.com Slide over to the Scale Wars tab. Everything you need to know is right there. Get it submitted. Um, yeah, and remember, you guys, it's not just, you know, buggies and trail trucks we can get all kinds of stuff in here i want to see some monster trucks i want to see some desert racers i want to see all kinds of stuff so get your build submitted yeah that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here because i feel like i'm about to pass out i'm so tired right now uh i'm pretty sure i probably mumbled through some of that stuff so if you guys made it this far you're the real mvps i appreciate it smash that like button hit the subscribe button you want to join patreon get these a week early link in the description i'm gonna get up out of here i'll see you guys out on the trails peace chick grease fam yeah yeah